Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am here to do my 2018 goals video. So I did one of these videos last year and you guys really seem to like it. I will link that video down below if you guys are interested in checking that out. So I am back to do one for 2018, which is hard to believe that we're already in 2018. Like seriously, where is time gone, you guys? So this year, I, compared to last year, I have a lot more goals set for myself. And I think that's a good thing because this year is going to be a little different than years past and I'll get into that in a second. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right in and get started. So I've split my goals into four sections. There's reading, channel slash blog slash social media goals, writing goals, and then personal goals. I'm going to start off with my reading ones and this is where I have the most out of all the sections. So the first one is going to be my Goodreads challenge. I always participate in the Goodreads challenge. And this year I have significantly lowered the amount of books I want to read. Last year I set it at 100 and I almost completed it. I was off by 7 books I want to say, something like that. This year I decided to decrease it to 25. Because this year I feel like it's going to be a year of change. I have a lot of stuff going on in my personal life. I really want to focus more on school this year. That doesn't mean I don't want to read at all. I do. I just... School and my booktube and book blogging life kind of got mixed together too much last year, especially in the fall. So I really want to put reading kind of on the side for this year and then focus more on school. Obviously that's a change. So that's why my Goodreads goal is so low this year. But hopefully I will achieve the 25 book goal I've set for myself. The second reading goal I have set for myself is to read more diversely. This is going to be on my goals list for the next who knows how many years I'm here, I'm here on booktube. I would had it on my list last year, I definitely achieved it, and this year I wanted to achieve more. So that is on my list. The next one, number three, is going to be something that's kind of got a common theme between all the reading goals, and that's to get back on track with my review books. So review books. I started getting review books back in like late October of 2015. I, my channel was about six months old at that point. And, you know, I started getting contacted by publishers and authors, like, hey, Jackie, you want to review this book? I'm like, sure. I was get, just getting started. I had no idea what I was doing. So I pretty much said yes to every review book I got asked to review. And it got out of hand. So this year, when I'm reading, that's going to be my main focus, is my review books. Not so much on, like, the new releases that are coming out, as much as I would like to pick up the new releases. There's probably going to be a lot less of those in my hauls this year, so just be prepared for that. The next one, the next goal, number four, that I have set for myself kind of goes along the same lines, and that's to read more ebooks. The review books I don't get in physical form, I usually get on ebook, and I actually had to ask the authors not to send me ebook copies of their books now because it's gotten ridiculous at this point. Like, my Kindle has, I want to say, at least 30 review books on there I have yet to read. So that is ridiculous. So again, I really want to put the review books as my main focus this year as far as my reading. The next one is to read more audiobooks. I started diving into the world of audiobooks in late July of last year, I want to say. It was around the time of Booktubeathon. And I started off by reading the Moral Instruments series, which you guys know my thoughts on that series. But I haven't had a bad experience with audiobooks, and I really want to dive more into them. I want to read at least three a month, if not four. Let's see how that goes. I just love audiobooks at this point. The next goal I have set for myself isn't so much with the kind of books I'm reading, it's more focused on a genre. Is that I want to read at least ten thrillers slash mysteries. Thrillers are not really my genre. The ones that I have read in the past I really, really liked. Like, for example, Baby Doll and uh, The Walls by Holly Overton. Two of my favorite thrillers of all time, which I highly recommend you guys check out. And, again, those are two of my favorite thrillers of all time. It just makes me want to dive more in. So if you guys have recommendations for thrillers, let me know. I could really use them right now. The next one is going back to my review books, and that is to read ARCs ahead of time. I had a massive problem when I first started getting ARCs, especially off of NetGalley and Edelweiss. I think that's the other big uh, online ARC place you can get uh, ARCs from. Is I would wait until like the last minute to read my ARCs, 
And I still have a few that I got from NetGalley that I haven't read that have already come out and it's been like a year. So it's kind of a problem and I really need to catch back up on those. So again, one of my main focuses of this year. The next one is to do more buddy reads or do buddy reads in general. I have been talking to a couple of my friends on here on booktube about doing buddy reads, but we've all been so busy we just haven't had the time. So one of my goals is to, here is to, you know, do some buddy reads, get to know the community a little bit better. So if you guys would ever like to do a buddy read with me, let me know in the comments down below or DM, DM me on Facebook or, or not Facebook, Twitter or Instagram, I'd be happy to do so. The next one is to read more local authors. So I am talking about authors from New England, so Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island. There's not many out there, at least that I know of, but I want to find some this year and I really want to read their books. It's something that I have wanted to support for years. So need to read some more local authors, support my New England authors. <laughs> The next one is kind of up in the air, and this is the one I need your feedback on. And that is, I want to start a book club on Goodreads. This has been up in the air for about a year now. I just didn't know how to say it. So, again, if you guys want to start a book club with me, let me know. And the last reading goal for myself that I have set for this year is, this year is going to be the year of the TBR jar, guys. So, this is my TBR shelf. This is actually isn't all of the books. I still have a couple on my other bookshelves that I have put with the same author. And there is about 70 plus books on there. So this year I set up this little mason jar. It has my initial J on it. And this has all the titles I have yet to read in here. So every month when I do my TBR videos, you'll see me pick a little slip of, slip of paper out of this jar and that will be the one mandatory book I have to read that month. So that is hopefully, hopefully all works out in the end and I will be using this a whole lot. So that is it as far as my reading goals. Now I'm going to go into my channel slash blog slash social media goals. So the first one I'm going to be talking about is to be more interactive with my followers. So this is going to be talking about Instagram, Twitter and of course YouTube and as well as my blog. I have now been doing booktube and book blogging for almost two years. So it'll be two years at the end of April, which is insane. And I don't know, I feel like I haven't been there for you guys at all points. It takes me a while to respond to comments and I feel really bad. So this year, you guys are going to be my main focus. I want to interact with you more. So I am going to plan on doing a lot more posts on Twitter. One more post on Instagram and of course doing as many videos as I can here on YouTube. So hopefully that will keep you guys happy. Because Twitter I really started using at the end of 2017, but Instagram I kind of put it on the back burner. <laughs> I don't know why, I just, I didn't really use my bookstagram as, it, as we call it here in the bookish community last year. I kind of left it on the back burner, but I still want to get back into it this year. Alright, the next one is more to do with the content of my channel. I want to do at least two reviews a month. Last year, when I first started my channel, I was doing reviews as much as I can. If you guys go way back to the beginning of my channel, you will see it was all, well, mostly reviews. Now, since, you know, it's been almost two years, like I said, I feel like I've done less and less reviews. At the end of 2017, once again, I really started to get back into them. And they are a lot of fun to film, and the ones I have posted recently have gotten a ton of views. So thank you guys for that. Uh, so I want to get back into that. So the way I want to set up, every time I do a review, I want to do, if I do a review in a month, I want to do at least two, like I said. So one of them will be a review of a book I got from a publisher or author. And the other two or three, depending on how many reviews I'm able to do, will be book club picks. So one will be Peru's Utopia, because that's the main book club I participate in. I try to participate in that as much as I can. And the other will be Lisa's Buddy Reads. So that's the way it's going to work for now. Hopefully it will all work out in the end. All right, the next one is also kind of up in the air, and that's to do a collab. Again, let me know in the comments down below or DM me. If you guys are interested in doing a collab, I would love to do so. The next one, let's see my, I have the notes on my phone, they just disappeared. 
there they are all right oh the next one is to be on book battles so book battles if you guys are not familiar with it it is a jeopardy style game show that's hosted by kale over kale's corner i'll link her channel down below and i saw it going around a lot last year a lot of my favorite booktubers have been on it i'm like hey that looks like fun so i actually did email kale's and asked if i could be on the show and she did put me on the list so hopefully that will happen this year if it doesn't oh well the next one or next two actually are also up in the air these probably will not happen and that is to either go to bookcon or vidcon now i would love to do these unfortunately i really don't have the time i don't have the money vidcon is out in california california plane tickets are a little bit expensive at this point and then bookcon that would be my better option to go to because it's only in New York and that's only about a four hour drive from where I live. So that would probably be the better option of the two. Probably won't happen this year, but who knows at this point. And the last channel, blog, social media goal I have is kind of fun. I saw a couple of other people put this on their goals list and that is I would love, and again this is a little bit ambitious, I would love to hit 2,000 subscribers this year. I was originally going to put it at 1,000, but I thought I'll put it at 2,000 just for fun. So, again, that's not likely going to happen, but if you guys could make that happen, it would make my year. So, just putting it out there. Now we're moving on to my writing goals. So these are short and simple. The first one I have is to finish my second draft of my book. I just finished my first draft at, like, the day before the new year started, so on the 30th of December. And you know what? Turns out really good. It's a new adult fantasy evil queen retelling. That's what I can tell you guys right now. And I would love to work on that second draft this year. And then leading into my next goal is to start looking for an agent and or publisher this year. Again, that's being a little bit ambitious, but why not put it on there? Because it just, just why not? These goals are mostly for fun anyways, so. And then the last section of this uh, video is going to be my personal goals. So these are more personal things but I figured I would just incorporate it into and I do have a very exciting announcement that's going to go along with this section that you guys have been waiting for for about a month and a half now so I'm finally going to reveal it. So the first personal goal I have is to lose at least 50 pounds. My cousin is getting married in October and you know I would really like to be a little bit skinnier for that time. I've struggled with my weight for years and I don't know this, just, this year just seems like the year to do it so that is pretty much my main goal of this year. The second one following that up is to get a job. I have been looking for a job for three or four months now. I've talked about it in a couple of my vlogs like where I've actually applied to a job or had a job interview. You guys have seen that if you watched my I think it was in my NaNoWriMo vlogs that started happening. Uh, so that's going to be another main focus of this year. Number three, as far as my personal goals, is to learn a language. This is something, again, that I've wanted to do for a while. I either want to learn two languages. I've tried learning a language in the past. I tried learning Japanese a few years ago because I was really into Japanese anime at the time. Not so much anymore, but at the time I was. And that didn't work out so well. So now, it's been a couple of years, it's been, I want to say about five years since that happened, and there's two languages I am dying to learn. Number one is Spanish, because that's kind of the universal one that pretty much everybody learns at some point in their life, and the other one is Greek. Greek is, I know it's very, very tricky to learn, my mom's entire side of the family is Greek, and my brother's best friend's family is Greek. So I am surrounded by people who speak either a little bit of Greek or quite a bit of Greek and something I really want to learn to understand. And I love Greece in general. I was, after reading Percy Jackson last year, I fell in love with the country and its you know, history, so I really want to learn the language. And the last goal I have for this video is the announcement. Now, like I said, I've been hinting at this for two and a half months now and I told you guys I was working on a secret project which if you guys saw my most recent library haul you might have been able to figure it out already but I am starting 
another channel. I have two channels already, so I don't know how well this new channel is going to work out. This is going to be a personal channel. It's going to talk about different stuff. I really want to start talking more about beauty on that channel. This is a channel I actually started five years ago. It was my personal channel I had for the first four and a half years here on or here on YouTube, I should say. And I took, or I, you know, took away that channel right around the time I started BookTube. So I really want to bring it back. Again, it will probably be a little bit of everything, but mostly beauty, that kind of stuff. So that is going to be my very big announcement of the year. So I'm hoping you guys will be looking forward to that. And I will have a link to it when it goes live down in the description bar below. And I also make a whole separate video talking more about it. So that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have all my social media linked down below in the description bar. So those include my Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and my blog. Again, those are all linked down below. With all that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching today. Bye!